Assalamualaikum and good day to all the students Basic Mathematics So now we continue again Chapter 1, Number System Okay, so we go to 1.2 indices Indices are used in a numerous applications Most often when talking about very big or very small things So among the application of indices are When describing a computer's memory 1 gigabyte or 1 GB of RAM means that we have 1 times 10 power of 9 bytes. So indices are a simple, simplest form for writing repeated multiplication. For example, the product 4 times 4 times 4 can be written as 4 power of 3. So where 3 shows that there are 3 factors of 4 appear in the products. Okay, so we look at the definition of indices. So if A is any real number and N is any natural number, so A power of N equal to A times A times A times A until N times. Okay, so N factors of A. Okay, so look at this one. So A power of N so a we call it as a base okay and n we call it as an index or power or exponent so usually we prefer to use base 10 and e okay so e is the irrational number okay and the values of e exponent is approximately 2.7183 so when you calculate e uh, e in your calculator you will get this value so look at at 1.2.2 rules of indices so we have a lot of rules in indices so let's look at it uh, one by one so first one is a zero exponent so what is a zero exponent if a is any real number other than zero then so a power of 0 you will get 1 okay so any number look at example any number power of 0 you will get 1 but a cannot be equal to 0 okay so negative exponent so if a is any real number other than 0 okay then so this is the rules for negative exponent so a power of negative n is same with 1 over a power of n so if this one is negative okay this one should be positive so same to this one so a power of n equal to 1 over a power of negative n why negative because this one is positive okay so by looking at this example so 8 times x power of negative 6 times y power of 4 so if we put x power of 6 down here, the negative 6 is become 6, positive. Okay. So power exponent, so if a is any real number other than 0, m and n are integers then. So in bracket a power of m, okay, power of n. So you just multiply m and n, so you'll get a power of m times n. Okay, for example, this one, okay, 5 power of 3 in bracket, power of 2, to, so 3 times 2, so we get 6. Uh, for rational exponent, okay, so if uh, square root n of a represent a real number, and m divided by n is a positive rational number, n should be greater than or equal to 2, then so this is the rules okay so a power of 1 over n so equal to square root n of a power of 1 okay this one is actually a power of 1 okay so if a m divided by n is actually square root n of a power of m okay 
so this is the example okay uh, look at the example here okay simplify the following expression so we have 10 question okay uh, just a simple rules eh? use the simple rules here so if any number is power of zero you will get one okay so your answer is negative one here okay very simple okay any number power of zero one okay c two power of negative three okay so actually uh, we divide it okay so 1 over 2 power of 3 so negative become positive here so the answer is 1 over 8 okay so same to d okay so we have negative exponent here okay so if we divide it it become positive um, so this is the solution for A, B, C, D, E until G. Okay. So, you can try it later. Okay. So, make sure you try it all of this example. Uh, this one is actually negative 2. Yeah? Okay. 8 power of negative 2. Okay. So, because of negative here, is actually uh, 1 over 8 power of 2. So, 8 power of 2 is equal to 64. So, we have some more rules here. Okay. So, product exponent. If A is any real number other than 0, M and N are integers when multiplying the exponential expression with same base, then... Okay, so make sure same base. Okay, so if multiply, so you can edit the index here. So, a power of m plus n. Okay, for example, 3 power of 3 times 3 power of 4. Because of same base. Okay, base 3. So, you can add 3 plus 4 is become 7. 3 power of 7. 7. Okay. So, quotient exponent. So, if A is any real number other than 0, M and N are integers. When dividing the exponential expression with same base, then, so, if you divide, okay, same base here. So, A power of M divided by A power of N. So, you can combine this one by uh, minus. Okay. Minus M minus N. Okay. For example, N power of 4 divided by N power of 3 equal to N power of 4 minus 3. So, 4 minus 3 equal to 1. Okay. So, power exponent. So, if A and B is any real number other than 0 and N greater than or equal to 2. So, this one uh, seem like uh, before this. Okay. So, in bracket A, B times N. Okay. Because of we have two, uh, two real number here. Okay. A and B is any real number. Okay. So, each of these you must power of N. So, it become A power of N times B power of N. So, same to this one. A power of 1 over N times B power of 1 over N. So, look at this one class. So, 9X power of 2. So, each of this value... Okay, so 9 power of 2, you will get 81. X power of 2, you will get X power of 2. So, this is the answer. Okay, the quotient power exponent, uh, same to the product. So, if you divide the number 
and power of n each of the uh, real number here you should be power of n okay so same to this one so this is the example for quotient power exponent so okay remember this okay so this is very important because of we have a lot of rules here so but this one is very very important so a we know that if you have a same base here so if you multiply these two values so the indices you can edit okay you can combine it and edit the indices okay the exponent so it become a power of m plus n okay but if a power of m you want to plus with the same base here is power of n you cannot get a power of m times n this is wrong okay so same to this one so a power of m divided by a power of n you will get a power of m minus n you can combine it in one base okay but if minus you cannot combine it okay so for example a power of m minus a power of m you cannot get a power of m divided by n okay that is totally wrong okay this one is totally wrong this two is correct so let's look at example here okay so simplify the following expression by using the rules of indices so 3x square times 4x5 okay so 3 and 4 is not a same base but x is the same base here okay so you can combine x power of 2 and x power of 5 so 3 times 4 is become 12 so if you combine it so it's become x power of 7 because of if multiply we plus if uh, division we minus okay so this is the answer okay so very simple for b same base here so you just add it 1 plus 4 plus 3 okay so for c okay we have same base here x okay and this one is also x so because of divide so x uh, sorry 5 minus 8 okay so your answer is 2 power of x negative 3 and then we put x power of 3 below here okay so m negative 2 divided by m power of 4 so we know that if divide and we have same base we just uh, subtract this number so negative 2 minus 4 you will get negative 6 and it's become 1 over m power of 6 and so on you can look at uh, the solution here I give you a solution from A until I okay I want to show you for E so E so because of uh, we have a lot of numbers here okay so 50 x square y power of 7 divided by 5 x power of 6 y power of 3 okay so I separate it so this is for numbers okay this is for the variable x this is for variable y okay so 50 divided by 5 we get 10 so 5 uh, sorry x square divided by x6 so because of uh, same base so you just subtract 2 minus 6 here okay and then also same to this one 7 minus 3 so you get 10 times x power of negative 4 times y power of 4 so can you see this this is negative right so if you want to put a positive you must divide it by using these rules okay 
So remember these rules. Then we have another example here. Simplify each of the following expression. Okay. Uh, same uh, to the previous. I give you all the solution here. Okay. Uh, and I want to show you how to get the solution for C. Okay. Because this one is a, a little bit different from others. Okay. So let's look at C. Okay, 25 times 4 over P minus 16 times 4 over P minus 1 divided by, okay, so 4 over P plus 3 minus 8 times 4 over P plus 1. Okay, how to solve it? Okay, first uh, you must look at the base. So which is uh, the same base here. Okay, so we can see that. 4, right? 4 power of P, 4 power of P minus 1, 4 power of P plus 3, and 4 power of P plus 1. So, same base. Base 4. Okay? So, first thing, okay, this one is 4 power of P. So, how to make it this one? Uh, equal to 4 power of P. So, we separate it. Okay. So, 4 power of P multiplied by 4 power of negative 1. This is actually same to the 4 power of P minus 1. Okay. But, we separate it. Okay. So, same to this one. We separate it. 4 power of P times 4 power of 3. And also this one, 4 power of P times 4 power of 1. And then we solve it. Okay, so 4 power of negative 1 is actually 1 over 4. Okay, so 16 divided by 1 or times 1 over 4 is actually 16 divided by 4 here. Okay, and then 4 power of 3 here will get 64. Okay, so 4 times 8. Here we get 32. Okay. So same base here. 4 power of P. 4 power of P. 4 power of P. And 4 power of P. So you just subtract this number. 25 minus 4. You will get 21. 64 minus 32. You get 32. But still you, get, you, you still have 4 power of P. Then this one you can cancel it. Cancel it. Okay. Then the last answer is 21 over 32. Okay. Uh, so the same example here. So all the example is about the rules of indices. Okay. So find the values of X in the following equations. So if you know... Uh, how to use the rules of indices, okay, then you get uh, the answer easily, okay. For example, A here, okay, so 2 power of 2x equal to 16 power of x minus 1. So, first thing, remember that, rules of indices, everything, if you want to use the rules of indices, you must change the base. You must change the base. So, if this one is 2, Okay, so try to change uh, the base equal to 2. So how to do that? So we know that 16 is actually 2 power of 4. Okay, you can change it. Okay, and then uh, you multiply 4 with x minus 1. Okay, you will get 4x minus 4. Okay, because of uh, the base is same. Okay, you can just uh, take the exponent here okay so 2x equal to 4x minus 4 then you get the answer for x x equal to 2 okay you can try for b c and d okay so i just i just give you a solution um but uh before you look at the solution you try first okay do it by your own okay don't look at the solution first okay 
so this is the example the previous example okay uh, for a okay so the important thing is you need to change the base here okay so make sure base here is same to this base okay so we change to base 2 and then you can just uh, take the exponent here okay you will get the answer So this is some exercises, okay? You need to do all the exercises. Any question you can ask your lecturers, okay? Or uh, you can ask your lecturer in your online class later. Okay, that's all for today class. Uh, we will continue for the next subtopics after this. Thank you.